Veterans reentering civilian life face many challenges, including finding a job. Hi, I'm Montel Williams. Welcome to this edition of Military Makeover Operation Career. Today, inspirational stories of former servicemen and women who have reinvented themselves and are thriving at companies who value their unique skills. Like many states, Michigan boasts a vibrant community of veterans from all branches of the service. With their unique skills and diverse backgrounds, they find a warm and welcoming home in the Peninsula State. However, even the most prepared veterans can face challenges navigating life after service. Answering that need is the Michigan Veterans Affairs Agency. In partnership with the Michigan Veterans Coalition and the Michigan Association of County Veterans Counselors who are dedicated to helping veterans and their families. From accessing discharge documents to connecting with veteran service officers and finding essential services, the MVAA and its partners are there to support every step of the way. I'm Brian L. Love, Director, Michigan Veteran Affairs Agency. My name is Michael Roof. I'm the president of the Michigan Association of Veteran Counselors. My name is Gary Easterling, and I am the chairman of the Michigan Veterans Coalition. My name is Todd Butler. I'm the deputy director of the Michigan Veteran Affairs Agency. So the Michigan Veteran Affairs Agency is the central agency for the state of Michigan that coordinates activities for veterans within the state of Michigan. We connect veterans with not just their state resources, but also their federal resources with the VA. With over 500,000 veterans statewide and a staff of just over 60, the MVAA is responsible for coordinating and supporting those veterans so deserving of assistance. Helping Director Love with this challenging task is Marine Corps and Army National Guard veteran Deputy Director Todd Butler. Navigating the benefits and resources as a new veteran coming out of the military is extremely daunting. I can use myself for an example. After 14 years of service and discharging from active duty, I was woefully unaware of the resources and benefits that were available to myself and my family. With over 80 counties in the state, many who aid veterans, it takes more than the MVAA alone to get the benefits to those deserving warriors. It's interesting because there are over 550,000 veterans in the state of Michigan. We need more veteran service officers. We need more boots on the ground. We need more ways to help veterans in the state of Michigan. We just can't do it by ourselves. The Michigan Veterans Coalition is a coalition of veteran service organizations comprising of the American Legion, the Disabled American Veterans, the Veterans of Foreign Wars, and the Vietnam Veterans of America. And our mission is to advocate and assist veterans in all the benefits they may have earned because of their military service. And so what we do is we work, we approach our partners collaboratively, we work with them, we find out what they need. We don't come down and say, hey, this is what you gotta do, this, 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 and this. What we do is find out for them, how can we help empower you and help you support veterans in your local community? And then we start the conversation on that basis and build from there. It's a delicate balance when we work together to get the uh, task done of getting veterans benefits. Uh, they're very supportive. So the Michigan Association of Veteran Counselors, what we do is we train county veteran service officers to help veterans and their dependents get the rightly earned VA benefits, whether it's a VA benefit or a county or state level benefit. Uh, we are where the rubber meets the road, meeting with uh, the claimants right across the table. Not only are we the advocate for federal programs and the federal VA, but we also are the advocate for veterans to ensure that they are getting additional resources at the state and local level. And those are, are, can be drastically different from one community or one county to the next within the state. And that's where the MVAA is. We're connected to all of those local uh, partners, all those uh, county partners. They're all part of a strong network with us to ensure that we can meet every need that a veteran has. Meeting those needs takes focus and an ability to meet these men and women on their own terms. In transitioning to civilian life, veterans can experience significant challenges when navigating the complexities of VA benefits. Um, so I, I can tell you my own impactful story first. Um, when I was 21, freshly married, new kid, I lost a job and I went down to the unemployment office to find a new job, and the veterans rep sent me down to an office just like mine, and I was able to get financial assistance and get myself back on my feet within a month to pay my bills, and um, I knew the impact that the office provides to veterans. 
years later, the opportunity opened up and I became a director in that office. Um, so now I'm turned around and helping veterans uh, and know the impact of, of what financial assistance and benefits do for someone that uh, is down on their luck. I struggled with transitioning back as a civilian. And so for me, it was a challenge. I knew there was something missing. And if it wasn't for an Army vet who I just happened to work with, and he got me to engage in a conversation about getting my VA resources and talking to other veterans, he probably saved my life. He literally saved my life. When I got out of the Marine Corps, this is kind of a bumpy road, but uh, thankfully my family kept me out of too much trouble. Transitioning from that very rigorous, uh, squared away Marine Corps mindset to what appears to be an extremely undisciplined civilian uh, sector was can be rough for anybody coming off of active duty. But active duty is a powerful shared experience, not only between these veterans, but all members of the United States military. Um, at the age of 18, I joined the Marine Corps. I went to school in, in Camp Lejeune. Uh, my primary job was a heavy equipment operator doing, you know, road graders, scrapers, cranes, bulldozers. Uh, but then I went to Okinawa, Japan, and uh, I was a rifle pistol instructor. So uh, when I graduated high school, oh, I joined the Marines. Uh, I literally joined the Marines, shipped out less than nine days after I was sworn in. I was over there on the deployment with my unit. Uh, that got to see a whole lot of the day. And then after that, got to go to Okinawa, Japan, spent 12 months there, huge learning experience. So once I graduated, I just walked into the recruiter's office and next thing you know, I'm in the Army. So I uh, saw a video of a tank jumping across a ditch and I was like, yep, that's what I want to do. So that's what I did. So I joined the Marine Corps right out of high school. I was 18 years old. Um, college wasn't for me at the time. Uh, I didn't want to go work in a factory. I came from a very uh, small rural farming community. Uh, so there just wasn't a ton of prospects or opportunities in my own mind at the time. So in the military, something that I was always drawn to. What all these warriors offer is an unshakable commitment to continuing their service to others. It's a calling, uh, something I truly believe in. Um, when I started doing this, uh, I had 15 years in the Army and I got out helping veterans and just seeing how you can turn their life around. Somebody who's struggling, getting ready to lose their house, lose their car because of their disabilities and unable to work, then you can get them that benefit that just changes their whole world. It's amazing. One of the things that uh, I think is unique about military veterans is uh, we all go into the, to the military service out of a sense of duty or sense of service to others, to something bigger than us. That doesn't end just because we leave the military. That extends into every aspect of our lives. We're just trying to make a change for the better in, in, within our communities. Uh, that sense of service, that spirit of service goes with us for the rest of our lives after we leave the military. Michigan's veterans, our home front heroes.